हेलो एवरी वन गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स डियर स्टूडेंट्स इन प्रीवियस क्लास वी टेक एंड डिस्कस अ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट चैप्टर ऑफ योर सेलेबस विच इज सर्कल्स एंड इन दैट क्लास वी टेक एंड डिस्कस सम इंपॉर्टेंट थ्योरम्स एंड क्वेश्चन बेस्ड ऑन सर्कल्स नाउ इन टूडेज क्लास वी ऑल्सो टेक एंड सॉल्व सम इंपॉर्टेंट टॉपिक रिलेटेड टू सर्कल लाइक फर्स्ट नाउ इन टूडेज क्लास वी टेक एंड डिस्कस अ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट टॉपिक of your of this chapter which is cyclic quadrilateral which is cyclic quadrilateral this is one of the most important topic of your syllabus what is the concept of cyclic quadrilateral dear students dear students if uh, suppose that uh, we draw a circle and in that circle we draw a quadrilateral a b c d look A, B, C, D. If, dear students, all of its vertices, like cyclic quadrilateral, all of vertices of the cyclic of a quadrilateral lies on the circle, lies on the circle. Then that type of quadrilateral is said to be cyclic quadrilaterals. So in cyclic quadrilateral, all of the vertices. of the quadrilateral lies on the circle then it is said to be a cyclic quadrilaterals okay and there are some important theorem based on cyclic quadrilateral let's see first of all we take and uh, prove a very important theorem related to that topic look now look we take a very important theorem related to that is what we prove that the opposite angles we take a very important theorem prove that the opposite angle the opposite angles of a cyclic quadrilateral lateral are are supplementary supplementary means that ki sir the sum of the sum of opposite angles of a cyclic quadrilateral is what 180 degree this is the concept of supply mentary angles okay dear students now dear students now let's take what let's see what is the process to prove that theorem so first of all dear students we draw a cyclic quadrilateral look let us say we take as dear friends a b c d is a cyclic quadrilateral so we write as given first of all we write given given a cyclic quadrilateral a b c d in which in which opposite angles angle a and c in which angle a angle c and angle b angle d are the pair pair of opposite angles opposite angles now what we prove that to prove dear friends to prove the sum of opposite angle to prove angle a plus angle c is equal to 180 or we have to show that angle b plus angle d is 180 it means the opposite angles of a cyclic quadrilateral is supplementary means their sum of measure is 180 okay now we have to do some constructions we just join 
BD and AC respectively. We have to do some constructions there. In construction, join join AC and BD respectively. Join AC and BD respectively. Now look. We write now we write as its proof. Now first of all we consider AB as a chord. So first now from first we consider consider AB as a chord as a chord of a circle. That is we know that. If AB take as chord, then angle ACB is same as angle ADB because of we know that angle in the same segment are equal to each other, na? No? Are equal to what, dear students? Each other. So now that is angle ACB is same as angle ADB. ADB take equation number first because of angles in the same segment. Angles in the same segment. Similarly, dear friend, if we take BC as a chord, then also we get as angle BAC. That one is equal to angle BDC. Similarly, similarly, angle BAC. Angle BAC is equal to angle BAC is same as angle BDC. Angle B D C. We take as an question. Do this is the angles in the same segment. Now what I do, dear students? Now, dear students, adding equation one and two. Now. Now one plus equation two we get. Now we get as angle ACB plus angle BAC is equal to angle ADB plus angle BDC. Okay, dear students. Now look and from figure angle ADB. Means that angle ADB plus angle BDC is equal to the angle D, na? No? This is the angle D. Means angle ADC we can write here. So that is we get as angle ACB plus angle BAC is equal to angle D. Take equation number three. Now what I get? Look. Now, dear student, adding angle ABC both side. Now here, this is angle ACB plus angle BAC plus angle ABC is equal to angle D. Angle ABC we can write angle B. Now you know that in in triangle ABC, this is angle ACB, angle BAC, angle ABC, and we know that sum of all angles of a triangle is what? One eighty. So we have angle B plus angle D is equal to 180. Similarly, we can prove dear students angle A plus angle C is equal to 180 degree. Hence, prove. So in this way, dear students, we can say that the sum of opposite angles of a cyclic quadrilateral is what sub are supplementary means the sum of measure of opposite angles is always equal to. 180 degree. Dear student, there are some important, there are so many important questions based on this topic in your syllabus. So please do more and more practices of that type of question and do more practices of the theorems. Now we take and solve some important questions based on these theorems.
ओके डिटर्सेंट्स तो इफ वन साइड ऑफ साइडिंग कोलेट्रल इज प्रोड्यूस्ड देन द एक्सटीरियर एंगल इज देन द एक्सटीरियर एंगल इज इक्वल टू द इक्वल टू द इंटीरियर अपोजिट एंगल इंटीरियर अपोजिट एंगल एक्सटीरियर टू द इंटीरियर अपोजिट एंगल दिस इज अ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट थ्योरम रिलेटेड टू साइक्लिक Later. So let's see what is the process to prove that theorem. After that, we take and solve some important questions. So first of all, we draw a cyclic quadrilateral, and first of all, look. A B C D is a cyclic quadrilateral, and We draw produced one side of the cyclic quadrilateral A B to suppose that A. Suppose we extend, we produce one side A B to E of that cyclic quadrilateral. Then exterior angle means angle C D E is same as the opposite interior angle. And if this is the exterior one, then its opposite interior angle is what angle A D C. so we have to show that angle b c c b e is same as angle d according to this theorem now first of all we write given in given we write what a cyclic quadrilateral a cyclic quadrilateral a b c d okay in which in which one of its side on of its sides ab produce to e one of its sides ab produce to e now to prove we have to show that exterior angle cbe is same as the opposite interior angle means angle ADC is equal to angle ABC. Now we have any construction? No, any construction required for that proving. So we just write as proof. Now since dear friends, ABCD is a cyclic quadrilateral. Since ABCD is a cyclic. quadrilateral okay that is we know that that is we know that e the sum of opposite angles of a cyclic quadrilateral is 180 degree to so angle abc plus angle adc is equal to 180 degree take equation number first according to the concept the theorem to that okay now now look dear students here a b e is a straight line from figure from figure a b e straight line na AB is a straight. AB is a straight line that is their sum of measure angle ABC plus angle CBE is equal to one eighty. This is the linear pair. Linear pair, na? Ki their sum of measure is one eighty. Now take equation number two. Now using equation one and two. Okay, now
from equation 1 and 2 we get one is what this is angle a b c plus angle a b c same as angle a b c plus c b so a b c a b c is cancelled to each other now what i get dear friends now we get as angle c b e angle c b E is same as angle ADC angle ADC hence proved in this way we dear friends we can say that if one of its sides of a cyclic collateral is produced then the exterior angle then the exterior angle is always equal to the opposite interior angle so dear friends this is a very important result related to cyclic collateral there are so many important questions based on this topic also okay this is one of the most important now dear friend we take and solve some important questions based on cyclic quadri Lateral. Okay, dear friend, let's see. Now, dear friend, we take and solve some important questions based on cyclic quadrilateral. Okay, now look, look, look the very important question, dear friends. In the given figure, we take a very important question. In the given figure, O is the center of the circle. O is the center. O is the center of. O is the center of a circle. The angle subtended by R, the angle subtended by R, the angle subtended by R, BCD at the center, BCD at the center. Is one forty degree. Is one forty degree. BC produced to P. BC produced to BC is produced to P. Find find the angle. Find the angle BAD and angle BAD and angle DCP. 
and DCP and your figure is now look this is the O with the center of the circle now A B C T this is A B C is there and D is there now this is A B this one D is there we take as now this is D okay now B C C D and B C produce na B C produce to B that is P and also join A D so now look here A B C D here A B C D is a cyclical rectangle and according to question the angle uh, the arc B C D at the center the angle found arc B C D at the center of the circle is what one forty this is one forty degree now let's see its solution so we find angle B A D first of all we find that angle okay and also we find angle D C P that one so now look since here a b c d is a cyclic quadrilateral quadrilateral so that is the exterior angle that is uh, exterior angle d c p which we find is same as to angle b a d we take question number one because of we know that the exterior angle if one side of a cyclic quadrilateral is produced then the exterior angle is always equal to the opposite interior angle so according to that theorem so angle dcp is same as angle bad so for finding the value of angle dcp first of all we find angle bad now look again we know that the angle subtended by an arc the angle subtended by an arc at the center of the circle is double the angle subtended by the same arc at any remaining part of the circle so angle the arc bcp is there and the angle subtended by that arc at the center is angle bod so now by theorem angle bod is same as two times angle ad a and bad angle angle bad so that is that is angle bad is 1 upon 2 times angle bod so angle bod is given as what angle bod is given as angle 140 degree to this is 1 upon 2 into 140 that is 2 7 is a 0 now so angle 70 to angle bad is equal to 70 degree angle bad is what 70 degree now again using equation one now using equation one we get angle dcp is same as angle bad that is angle dcp is same as equal to 70 degree this is the next one okay. So, dear students, this is the process method to solve the questions based on cyclic quadrilateral. This is one of the most important theorem questions based on cyclic quadrilateral. So, according to that, first we apply the property the actual angle is same as the opposite interior angle. Second one is we know that the angle subtended by an arc at the center of the circle is double the angle subtended by same arc at any remaining part of the circle. So, according to that theorem, we solve that question here BOD is equal to 2 times angle BAD and now from there angle BAD is, one, is equal to half of angle BOD so from there we find angle BAD and angle DCP is same as angle BAD okay so in this way in today's class we take some important question and theorem based on cyclic quadrilateral now in next class we take and solve some other important question based on that topic okay now thanks to all